Hi guys and welcome to Escape Wheel Watch Reviews. My name is Steve and today we're going to just do a quick overview of St. Martin's new release. I just got it. I took it out, took all the wrappings off, sized it up for me, and we're going to talk about it because there's a couple exciting things for it. So uh, first off, if you haven't seen the new packaging, this is how it is. Um, yeah, really nice padded little box, little cylinder thing, uh, smaller than their old packaging and pretty nice. Um, so you open it up and there's your watch. <clears throat> so I was sent the green one. Um, I didn't know what they were sending me, so this is what I got. It looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, very happy with how this looks. And uh, so I'm going to tell you just a little bit about it. Um, so first off, this is their 37, 37 millimeter. Uh, it's me it measures 38 at the bezel, 46 something. Um, and then, so this is their 62 mass case. Their old... 62 mass case uh, and then it's got a new dial new bezel insert uh, new bracelet so this is a first from st martin this bracelet beads of rice absolutely gorgeous looks amazing this bottom edge here is finally really nice and soft and round it flows great it looks incredible uh, but the i guess the big news here um, not only do we get the new dial and the new bracelet we get a new clasp um, and this is a kind of a big deal. So this is St. Martin's first on-the-fly adjustable clasp. Um, so you can see here, super nicely finished as usual. Nice brushing on the top. I mean, it looks even better than their, their old clasp. So um, yeah, no micro adjust here. So we will show you how that works here. Two button pushers, milled inners. Those look about the same as before, maybe a little bit bigger, but um, yeah, I think this looks really good. Um, so here is the new on the fly adjustment. I measured it, it's about 10 millimeters of adjustment. So that's pretty nice to see, very happy with that. Um, so you can see it is fully out in this position here. So you don't need to do anything to adjust it tighter, which is nice because you can put it on wrist a little bit loose and then tighten it how you, however tight you like it. Um, so you get, what was that, four, five adjustments there. Um, and then to, to loosen it up a little bit, you just, press right here so you can see I'm depressing that a little bit and you can pull it right out so there it is all the way out one two three four five clicks of adjustment you can't pull it out at all there as you can see so it's nice and solid uh, honestly it feels great um, it sounds great it feels great the clasp itself looks really good uh, everything is nicely rounded I'm pretty happy with how this thing works how this thing functions um, yeah, I mean, it, like I said, it just came in. I removed one link, and then I used that micro adjustment there to kind of get it to fit me perfectly. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, it fits really, really good. I'm happy with how it looks. So you can see here, I mean, that's that's a, a little loose. So you just kind of reach back here. It's hard to do on camera. Now I'm not going to be able to do it trying to do it on camera here so you can see it there you go so i just clicked it in one that's a little bit better so yeah uh very happy with how this thing is functioning how it looks uh, it looks great uh, that bracelet also looks and feels amazing the watch in general looks and feels amazing this, this bezel action uh, it's a little light um, but we'll talk about that more in the full review because uh, this will be getting a full review um but yeah, first initial impressions are very positive. The dial, it's really hard to see. It's a subtle sunburst, but it is a sunburst dial, and it is a glossy dial, as you can see right there. Uh, it looks fantastic. It looks really, really good. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. The big takeaway from this is, you know, San Martin, we've been asking for this on-the-fly adjustable clasp for a while, uh, and they've finally delivered, and I can tell you right now, it's a good one. I've had uh, a few on-the-fly adjustable clasps, um, you know, Rolex style, and then I've had uh, Christopher Ward, um, and this one feels just as good, um, and in my opinion, easier to easier to to uh, to use than either one of those. So, um, yeah, really happy with how this thing works, how this thing looks. Um, yeah, what do you guys think? All right. Um, stick around, subscribe if you aren't subscribed, and I will have the full review out for this. Um, 
I'm not really sure when. I got vacation next week, so I'm going to try and get uh, some of my other reviews set up before I go on vacation. So, um, yeah, it might be a week or so before I get to the uh, full review of this one. So, um, but yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you have, I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.